Today, a local nonprofit rescued about 30 abandoned cats. There we go. From rubber gloves to hazmat suits, Posado Safe Haven Animal Rescue volunteers get ready. We obviously don't want that on us. Inside are dozens of cats and kittens covered in urine and feces. Got him, man. And hearing them in the bedroom trying to catch them, it's really emotional. Someone tortured and killed a cat in Centralia. The cat was dropped from the balcony. Then she says someone hit baby Jay with a rock right before killing him. We hope Jay gets justice. Posado's safe haven is now training Centralia officers and helping establish new department policies. Tonight, Posado's safe haven is offering a $2,500 reward in Meadows' case. Workers and volunteers from the nonprofit Posado's safe haven say they also found three dead cats inside. The nonprofit animal rescue group believes county animal control could have worked harder to get the cats the help they need. And Posado's safe haven has reached out. Every animal, when they come through the gates to our sanctuary here at Posado's safe haven, we make them a promise. We say, now you are safe. You will never have to suffer again. And it's a promise that we take very seriously. <laughs> and we do everything we can to give that animal the medical care that they need, the love, the proper food, whatever cruelty or neglect brought them to our sanctuary. Our hope is that they are able to move past it and live out the life that they deserve to live. We have a beautiful 85-acre sanctuary here at Posado Safe Haven. On any given day, we have between 200 and 250 animals that we're caring for. Because the animals that we rescue have often come from such traumatic situations, they require extensive veterinary care to get them healthy. So when they come into Posado Safe Haven, their first stop is here in the Healing Barn, which houses our clinic and we do a full intake exam on every animal that comes in to help us establish how much veterinary care they're going to need to get them healthy. It also helps us figure out how long it will be until they're able to move to main property and make some friends and hopefully find a forever home of their own. This is Cruiser. Um, Cruiser came to us as a pretty awful neglect case. He was emaciated, 21 pounds lighter than he is now when he was rescued. Um, he looks incredible now. He's still on the road to recovery, but his spirit is amazing. He's such a sweet boy. <laughs> Mr. Blue was born on a dairy, and he would have been killed pretty much right at birth because he's a boy. Blue gets to hang out under the blue sky and eat as much clover as he wants. This is Gabrielle. She's our goofball. This is Hercules. And that's Xena, and she's the boss. <laughs> if they didn't have a home here, they would have been fattened up until they were six months old, and then they would have been slaughtered. At Posadas, we're lucky enough to have the facilities and the staff to be able to bring in hens from large-scale rescues. Come here, sweetheart. Hi, you made it. They come from commercial farms and are often brought to us in pretty bad condition. Um, their beaks have been cut off like Miss Rita here. Um, it's a practice that's very painful for these girls as well as makes it problematic for them to eat. Things that make Rita's life happy are her rooster, Sunny, and blueberries. <laughs> right, Rita? Our homelessness prevention program is designed to reduce shelter overpopulation and unnecessary euthanasia by spaying and neutering pets for low-income families that otherwise wouldn't be able to take advantage of that service. Every year, we engage tens of thousands of people with online and sanctuary-based educational and advocacy opportunities to help end animal suffering and grow compassion for animals. 
The goal of our investigation and rescue department is to improve the response to crimes against animals. We're trying to raise the bar of the entire system. I'm a certified master animal cruelty investigator through the Law Enforcement Training Institute at the University of Missouri, and I work to respond in crimes against the animals, also serving as a resource to train law enforcement, prosecutors, and animal control anywhere we can to create a better process in response to these crimes. Every case is different, so neglect, abuse, shooting, um, puppy mills, hoarding, mutilation. So not only do we investigate and resource over 500 cases of animal cruelty and neglect every year, but we're also out training law enforcement and animal control to improve the way that they handle these cases so that cases are investigated better and they're prosecuted better, we hold people accountable, and our communities can have confidence that animal cruelty is being treated as the serious crime that it is. I have this piece of chain on my desk uh, as a reminder of the tethering issue. This is inappropriate for a dog or any animal. This is not necessary. We literally can't do our life-saving work for the animals without you. So please join us. Help us end animal cruelty and create a more compassionate world. Sweet creatures who passed this way, once scared and alone, now you are safe, now you are home.